Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Jan Ryherd. Mother Nature showering us with some love on this Valentine's Day. Some light showers coming down for us right now. As you can see, they're in Mount Vernon with streets on the wet side. And this is the case across most of eastern Iowa right now. No, rain is pretty light in nature. We're not getting a lot of precipitation, but we will keep that highlighted here in your first alert as we head through the rest of the day today into the evening hours before that does wrap up. The other thing highlighted here is going to be wind. Those uh, gusts could be in that 30 to 40 mile per hour range, pretty common throughout the course of the afternoon. Even overnight tonight, as those winds do lighten up, they will still be pretty strong, quite noticeable for us and above 20 miles per hour, I think probably over the next several days. Let's uh, time everything out for you here in terms of precipitation. This is what it looks like on my pinpoint Doppler radar right now. Actually a fair amount of uh, dry area across eastern Iowa, but you'll notice off to the west more precipitation certainly moving in with us here as we head through the rest of the day today. There will be plenty of precipitation moving in for us right now. Northern half of the area northeast and northwestern zones getting in on the light rain. Through the afternoon, though, this all continues to lift through the area winds. You'll notice those arrows staying out of the south. That keeps the mild air moving in. And while it will be gusty, that's actually going to help keep things as rain versus snow because of that more mild air for us. Into the evening hours, that all starts to wrap up. Snow stays to our north, and we'll see clouds into the day tomorrow. A mix of sun and clouds. I think more clouds than sun, though. And as we head into the day on Thursday, our next system starts to set in. By Thursday morning, as you're getting up and getting going kind of like the last one where not a lot has happened in the overnight hours, but starting to see things really ramping up during that morning time frame. And we should see this band kind of stemming all across the area south of Dubuque and Prairie du Chien. Uh, they're including Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, Dubuque areas could get in on some of the heavier bands with this next event all throughout the day for us there on Thursday. When we're talking about totals, this is what we're looking at right now. Again, points south of Waterloo and Prairie du Chien in this three to six inch band to the north of that, about one to three inches and in trace amounts in the far northwestern parts of the area. As always, though, this this is for Thursday, so there is still time for things to kind of wobble around a little bit. We'll continue to keep you updated with this next system. Today, no snow, just rain and wind. Temperatures for us in the upper 40s. Wind gusts, again, could be in that 40 mile per hour range throughout the course of the evening. Even later on today, as those winds do die down, we will still see them rather strong in that 25 mile per hour range or so. Into tomorrow, the quiet day between our two systems. Temperatures do back down into the upper 30s there upper 20s by Thursday and our next chance for precipitation falling there again. That's our measurable snow. Now the good news is over the last several weekends we've actually uh, had Mother Nature on our side. She's been giving us kind of uh, some chaotic work days, commutes and stuff, but uh, she really comes in uh, and helps us out Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures there in the 40s, pretty mild for us and a little bit of sunshine and uh, clouds really having some pretty nice weekends. Just got to get to the weekends before we can enjoy them. Right, isn't that the truth though? You have to get through the work days and, and the snow that's been coming with them lately. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we've, we've got those commutes, those, uh, those uh, kind of tricky work days and stuff. I mean, it's a work day, but, <laughs> right. but at least we've got the weekends to look forward to. That's right. All right, thanks, Jan.